awful story, breaking new details. Now at five on a young Mansfield mother abducted at gunpoint from the OSU campus. Yes, police say both Skylar Williams and her alleged kidnapper Tyrell Pounds are dead in Kentucky. Kentucky State Police tell News 5 they tried to arrest Pounds after stopping the van the two were in when they heard a gunshot coming from the car. A trooper then fired at the vehicle killing pounds. Skyler was also killed. It's not clear yet which gun she was shot with. Yeah, but the tragic end to a young mother's life is hitting those who knew Williams hard. News 5's Taylor DeHayes is live at Madison High School where she graduated in Taylor. Teachers say, of course, she will not soon be forgotten. Well, those who knew her say she was a talented young woman, one with the whole world ahead of her. Skylar Williams graduated just two years ago, but teachers here say her memory will live on in these halls, written on the walls and forever bound on these pages. She had a beautiful smile. She had a feisty little personality sometimes. Lori Dean teaches cosmetology at Madison High School and taught Williams for two years. She had some friends that were in the business and she wanted to do hair. Um, she was pretty good at it. Flipping through the 2016 yearbook. She was a great kid, uh, a sweet girl. Principal Rob Peterson says these hallways will be somber as students and staff cope with the tragic news. It's a, a very difficult situation to go through and uh, the, the, it, it is typical of the Madison community for people to rally together and rally around each other. Pounds abducted Williams on Monday, forcing her into a car with a gun to her head. Listening to 911 calls, it all happened so fast. Someone just could not go on campus with a gun. Court records show the two have a rocky past. Just last year, Pounds filed for a restraining order against Williams. Most recently, records show there was a fight over parental rights with their baby boy. Just this week, Pounds filed a motion for visitation, but there was no ruling. Dean says those troubles stem back to when the two allegedly dated in high school. She dated him in high school, um, and I, I can remember students telling her then, you just should not be with him. And if only she had you know, listened to that. With a heavy heart, Dean wants his tragedy to be a lesson for young girls who could find themselves in abusive relationships. Pay attention to warning signs. And if if a guy is abusive at all, walk away. Saying life is too precious not to speak up. Now Mansfield High School is offering counseling to students and staff who need it during this difficult time. Live in Mansfield, Taylor DeHayes, News 5.